the 2021 ATV Motocross Championship kicked off in Daytona with a bang as Jeffrey Rastrelli went down early. From there, a great mix of veteran contenders and newcomers fighting for the top spots. Wesley Wolf, Brandon Hogue, and Max Lindquist fought for it. While up front, the two veterans, Chad Wienan and Joel Hetrick, went back and forth for the lead as expected. Brandon Ho got it stuck on a berm. Then Hetrick, while dealing with some lap traffic, began to run into trouble. And his annual Daytona Jinx reared its head again when he went flying. And just like that, Hetrick had another chance at points that Daytona ripped away. And Chad Wienan takes advantage again. Can Hetrick fight back in the points? Today in Texas, and tell the story. Ready for a reset. We are at the beautiful Three Palm Sports Complex in Conroe, Texas, not far from Houston. And we're going to go ATV National Motocross Racing here. Jason Wygant to give you the call. And the ATV Racing family gets together for a memorial ceremony for Michelle Jenkins, one of the great female ATV racers that was lost this year. Riders out there on track in the amateur divisions, as always. And then the focus goes to the pros like Bryce Ford. And his brother Cody, they are Texas natives, would love to do well here. And his brother Cody looking to break through. VTech Net Kianik from Poland. New racer on the scene this year. And Max Lindquist really looked quick at our opener at Daytona. The 101 is Cesar Jimenez, also out of Texas. Logan Stanfield has been slowly but surely heading closer to the front as he gets some experience. It's Michael Perkins of the 94. And Brandon Hogue. Definitely showed speed at races last year, then got injured, came back, looked strong at Daytona. Michael Allred, he was second to Linquist last year in the Pro-Am division, moving in. And then you got veterans like Rastrelli, Hetrick on that Phoenix Racing, now Yamaha ride. There's Wesley Wolf's machine, the 741. Let's check in with him after a podium at round one. Just got here at Three Palms. It was a pretty long drive. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that know that third spot's open and everybody's putting the same amount of effort. If some some people are out do others, you know, that, like I say, that third spot's open for grabs, but I'm always, the goal's third, I'll be happy with the top five. So we'll just go from there. Wolf was happy with the podium at the opener and so was Nick Janusa, a lot of carnage, and the rider from New Jersey stayed strong to the end. What's going on guys? We're here at Three Palms MX a month after Daytona. Uh, I guess I'll go back to Daytona first. That was a phenomenal weekend for me. I wasn't really, or a phenomenal week. I wasn't really sure how I was going to do coming into that, but I gave it my all in the training leading up to that race. Um, you know, again, I'm sure everyone heard a million times I stayed up north, which is different for me, and I'm looking forward to seeing what I could do. This track resembles mine a lot. It's sandy and rough. Um, it's pretty technical in spots, even though it doesn't have el much elevation. Uh, I'm still really liking it. It's my style. I like the metal great start. It's pretty even in my opinion. So uh, I'm going to see what I can do this weekend. I'm feeling good coming into it and I'm going to give it my all. So we'll see if the round one vibes after that much time off can continue. If the youngsters like Max Lindquist can make moves toward the podium. And of course, the looming showdown, Hetrick versus Wien. And it's something to watch every week. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CST Tires. So there it is, the number one plate with Chad Wienan, seven times champion of the series and starting 2021 the right way with a win at the opener. Coming away from Daytona, uh, we're carrying the points lead into our second round of racing here in Texas. And uh, last year, this is our second to last round of, of racing. So it's, it's quite a bit different. Uh, coming here last year, it's quite a bit warmer, but uh, we wake up this morning and it's pretty cool out. So they're saying that it's supposed to warm up. So. Looking forward to uh, the warmer temperatures. Just being, uh, I've been staying in, staying in Florida. And we had a really good break. Uh, just kind of doing a little bit more testing and getting uh, my machine exactly where I want and getting ready for these outdoor tracks. And coming here to Texas is good. And we had a very good time last year of the three race format. And uh, hopefully we can bring some more magic this year and uh, keep this trend going. 
Well, here's a trend we like, putting machines out on the track. So we will do it with qualifying here at ATV Motocross. There is Weenan, that big man originally out of Illinois, does his training in Florida now. There's Janusa on the black Gen USA machine. That's a Yamaha. And there is Wesley Wolf. Aired it out, lots of good jumps here at Three Palms. They love the dirt. Really interested to see what Max Lindquist can do on this number two dominant run last year. Pro-Am, a hot rookie coming into the pro ranks this season. Then Brandon Hogue, who showed great speed last year and at our opener, who's gonna step up. We did lose the great Texas native who's into retirement now. Thomas Brown, so that'll open up some podium real estate. Here is Hetrick. Got to get this thing rolling, maybe with a win today. You got the Ford brothers to contend with. There's Bryce on the number four. This is Jeff Rastrelli, got the retro moose racing gear as he airs it out. Michael Allred here on that distinctive yellow livery, the number eight, another rookie full-time in the pro class. Logan Stanfield on the 55. Yeah, throwing it sideways. Michael Perkins. On the 94, there's Vitek Nyatkanek, the Polish rider, the 991. Is there other member of the Ford brothers? Bryce actually got the edge on his brother. He was third quickest, mean in second. No surprise, Joel Hetrick throwing down the hot laps. That's what he always does on the number 88, but he's got to win the motos today to make up points. Not going to be easy with a lot of hungry Texas natives here. Cody Ford could be a contender today. Stay with us. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by CST Tires. Let's get down to business here. ATV National Motocross, Jason Wygant to give you the call. Moto One riders lined up at the starting gate and ready to go. Bryce Ford gonna run our Rocky Mountain ATV MC on board. Let's go racing. Joel Hedrick was on the outside of turn one. He sliced inside. I don't know if that's a whole shot, but he's going to have the early lead. And if he gets out front, he's going to be hard to catch. Let's see who's there in that number two spot to try to stay with him. I think that's Ford on the number four. Runs the chest protector, makes it easier to pick out. And there it is. It's a matchup we wanted to see. Bryce Ford out of Springtown, Texas has speed. Is it Joel Hedrick level speed? We're going to find out. Oh, and he does. He actually ran into the rear tires of Hedrick. I think they caught each other by surprise there. Well, at least I, you know I'm not overhyping the speed of Ford to be able to run down Hedrick. We've got a battle on our hands for the lead right now. And then this familiar Texas soil. We'll see what he can do. We've got Janusa up to third. Hedrick going to try to put his head down and get away. Ford just out of that roost zone, losing a little bit of ground, and Hedrick taking a look back. See what he's dealing with. He might not have known who that was back there. Oh, this drone shot is amazing. See Janusa and Weenan battling it out. Weenan trying to work his way by. He's around the outside. I think he might have gotten Janusa. No, Janusa shuts the door. Big step up in the performances for Janusa here early in 2021. He is riding the ragged edge, trying to hold Weenan off. But so far, he's getting it done. See how much roost is on Weenan. He's been covered. Then you've got Hogue and Rastrelli in a great battle here. Hedrick just inching away, but it is certainly not a comfortable lead with Ford lurking in that number two spot. Ford trying to keep Hetrick in sight. Janu Samween and fighting back here. Oh, Rastrelli runs into the back of Hogue. Hogue had come to a stop. I'm not sure what happened there. Either he stalled or had a mechanical problem that led to a stall. Remember, those two were battling right behind this, but now a huge gap. And that's even if we're still, I was going to say, if he can get unwedged, and he can't. So this is a disaster now as a huge pack goes by. It continues to be. Hetrick holding off Ford. Ford looking for different lines. 
you got to give credit to Janusa. Whedon was all over him earlier in this moto, and he's held him at bay for another couple of laps here. And at one point there, even had a little bit of distance between them. Chad Whedon never finishes off the podium in ATV motocross. He's in fourth right now. There is Hope. He did have the mechanical problems. His machine is done. Ford trying to keep Hedrick in sight, and Weenie trying to figure out a way around Janusa. Wolf now with mechanical problems, so there goes the momentum from Daytona. There goes Joe Hedrick in the lead. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by CST Tires. Joel Hetrick starting to get away here at Three Palms MX in Texas. Round two of ATV Motocross for 2021. Bryce Ford off the racetrack, up into the hay bales. Oh, he had a great moto going. Not only keeping Hetrick honest up front, so he loses that, but the big heartbreaker, both Janusa and Weenan, who are having this torrid battle, slip by. So a great race for Ford. Now he finds himself in fourth, and he is letting it hang to try to get these guys back. Did you see that in that corner? And what can you say about Nick Janusa? He has held the seven-time champion of the series, Chad Weenan, behind him this whole way. And with the mistake by Ford, you see a giant lead for Hedrick. Can Janusa do it? Can he hold Weenan back there the whole time? Well, we've been waiting years for someone to step up and match Weenan and Hedrick, Thomas Brown, was able to do it on occasion. We mentioned he retired at the end of last year. So Janusa looking good, and certainly Bryce Ford. And let's see if someone can finish in between them. If you're Hedrick, you would love this. You need to make up points on Weenan in the series, even though it's only round two. He's in a big hole after crashing in Daytona. And getting someone shoved between you would be amazing. And Janusa looks like he can do it. Actually, a little distance now between Janusa and Wien, and then Wien coming right back on him, and look at the desperate charge here in the final moments by Ford. Trying to get back to them. Wien down to the inside. Can he get the drive? He does! Well, that's odd. They had run those lines in that corner several times, and Wien couldn't make the pass, and then this time he does. So Janusa's efforts, he would love to at least hold on for a third, as you can see Hedrick flying out front. Stanfield and Linquist going at it back just behind that lead group. And now Ford is all over Janusa. I spoke too soon, saying Janusa could hold on for third. Podium's on the line here, and Ford wants it badly. And you really help your odds of an overall. If you can get on the podium in Moto 1, because we will count this race and the next one together for your overall results. A little bit too rough, that outside line for Ford now. Couldn't get a drive on Janusa. As Hetrick on the Phoenix Racing, now Yamaha machine. It's been many years on a Honda. And speed-wise, it's just as quick on this Yamaha. Had the crash on round one. That spoiled the results. But he is showing everyone at three palms. He is just as good as ever. And Ford. Probably had clean vision for most of this moto, but he has eaten a lot of roost in the latter moments. Trying to get around Janusa. Lindquist and Stanfield still fighting for it for top five. Lindquist came from about 12th early in this moto. Would love to see what that kid can do with the start. Maybe moto two will be the one. We know what Hetrick can do when he gets out front. He just showed you. Battled it out with Ford early. Started to pull away. Ford made the mistake. And from there, it's management mode. Big moto win there for Joel Hetrick. And Ford made the late pass for third. Weenan in the number two spot as we get ready for moto number two. Weenan getting his start area prepped. There's Janusa. And there's Bryce Ford. What could have been for Ford? Can he get revenge here in moto two and start up front again? And a great start for Ford. Going to lead them into turn one. Goes a little wide. Hedrick going to try to overhaul him. All right, Mad Dash down to the inside. Ford's got to clean this corner. Not enough. Around the outside, Hedrick to the lead. Much better start now for Weenan. He's third. Is that Brandon Hogue in the number four spot? Yes, it is on the 26th.
This is going to be furious action. I know Hedrick, he's going to try to get away. And Whedon trying to make quick passes. And he does. All six foot four, the big man from Illinois, able to get around Ford early. Can he run with Hedrick? Can Ford get Whedon back? Big pressure point right now, this number two spot. Oh, this drone giving you an idea of the high flying action. Weenan and Ford duking it out for second and third. Hetrick getting away. Green flag flying. Clean start in this one. Get Weenan trying to keep Hetrick honest here. And if you're Joel, the 1 1. Oh! Back with Nick Janusa, I think that was Wesley Wolf making a nice move on the inside. Wolf had the mechanical problems in Moto 1. Nice comeback here. Let's watch this battle. You've got Janusa and Jeffrey Rastrelli now fighting for it. And they're right behind Wolf. And Linquist on the number two right behind them. So you got a trio up front. Ford showing he's got the stuff to run with the perennial contenders. Hetrick and Weenan. And then just a torrid fight behind them. Look at this. Hogue, Wolf. Thought Wolf had the pass made. Janusa, Rastrelli, Linquist. Let's hop on board. Courtesy of Rastrelli right in the middle of that fight. Five riders going at it. That's good stuff there. Hedrick does not want to be mired in a pack like this. He's trying to make hay while the sun shines out front. Rastrelli look over his shoulder, trying to hold Linquist off. As you see the leaders go by. Can Joel Hetrick hold it to the end and make up more points on Chad Whedon while the continuous action rages behind him? ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by CST Tires. Joel Hetrick starting to get away from the field on a rough racetrack here at Three Palms MX. Conroe, Texas. Chad Wien in second. Bryce Ford, you just saw there, is third. Wait a minute. Wien in coming back on Hedrick for the lead. And then this great fight. Jeffrey Rastrelli right in the middle of it. Looks like Linquist just made the pass on Rastrelli on the inside. And look at Rastrelli trying to find room on the inside to get him back. Didn't work. He goes right back to him. Rastrelli starting to lose a little ground to Linquist and then that big fight up ahead of him. You got Janusa and Wolf in there. Here's that one. Janusa on the 15, trying to get Wolf. Pulled away a little bit from the rest of the group. I think they've got Hogue behind them now. And now Hogue under fire. Linquist able to get through. So the rookie making passes. Two bad starts for Linquist. That's going to really hurt him in the results. It's really interesting to see what he can do up front. I know I said the same thing in Moto 1, because he is quick. Look at this battle. Janusa thinks he's got an opening, a good drive on Wolf. Out breaks him into the corner. Wolf comes back. Bumps Janusa off the track, and Linquist is going to go by. That one got hot and heavy. So Janusa going to lose valuable points. Two spots lost in that one exchange there, and Linquist is not done. He's going after Wesley Wolf. Who's got the fitness down the stretch with a lap to go? Hedrick has pulled clear of Weenan. Ford a lonely third, but you gotta take the right steps. If he can become a weekly podium guy, one of these days it's gonna break right, and he's gonna get a win. Thanks to Rastrelli giving us great views of those huge battles back there. So here it is. Final moments, Joel Hedrick looking for the 1-1 here in Texas. And Janusa still digging just behind them. A lot of aggression out of that group just off the podium today, but no one able to match what Joel Hedrick threw down. And Wheaton ends up second in both motos, so the old guard stands strong as Joel Hetrick takes the win here in Texas.
Let's talk to our top three. Pulled the start um, and then just rode my race. Joel passed me in the second turn because I stalled it in the inside. Um, and, Ch and then Chad got me and I saw the gap I had and, and just rode my race and did my thing. Joel and I had an epic, epic battle to, all the way to the end, man. And uh, he had his spots that he was a little bit quicker in. And uh, man, he made a pretty big mistake that really tightened it up uh, for us uh, to finish out the moto. But uh, Joel rode a good race. You know, he, he pushed hard. and. Uh, I gave you everything I had, but man, uh, huge props to my team, everybody behind me, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll head to PA and we'll get ready for there. The bike was working great. Um, we did uh, some tuning today on the shocks throughout the day, and it just got better and better. Jay Goble with Impact Solutions had me dialed in. And uh, just the CSC tires were hooking up great, and you know, I can't complain. This is uh, exactly what I came here to do, and you know, I really needed it for uh, you know, my mental game heading into high point. And, uh, it's just, it's really, I'm super pumped and hopefully I gained quite a bit of points today and uh, can make my way back up into the point standings and, you know, make this championship interesting and just win some more races and have fun. Give you a little race recap here brought to you by CST Tires. There's Hedrick from outside to inside, gets the lead, then bumped by Ford. Later on a lap number one, a Moto one, big battle behind them. Then Hoke stalls the machine, Rastrelli runs into him. That was costly for both. Ford keeping the heat on as Wolf had problems. Then Ford goes off the track and loses a couple of spots. Janusa and Wienan were battling. Wienan gets around Janusa late. That puts him into second. Janusa third. Ford recovers for fourth with the Moto win going to Hedrick. Moto two, a great start by Ford. But just what he's talking about, he goes to the inside, makes a mistake. Hedrick to the lead. And then the battle behind him was just crazy. It's about five or six riders literally bouncing off each other. Here's an example. Max Link was getting around. Jeffrey Rastrelli. Wienan made a move on Ford. He's second. Linquist comes through, also gets Hope. Linquist gets Wolf. Checkered flag comes out. Hetrick takes the win over Wienan. And Bryce Ford making the Texas fans happy. Third in the race and also third in the series. But Hetrick 13 points to try to make up on Wienan after the heartbreak of round one. For everyone at ATV Motocross, I'm Jason Wygant. Thanks for watching.